Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. If you're new, my name is Taylor, and this video is pretty special because it is our four year anniversary video where I'm gonna be answering a bunch of your guys' questions that you asked. And I just wanna say before we get started in the questions, thank you all so much for an amazing four years. I really, I can't believe we made it four years on YouTube. This is the platform that we started sharing our rock counting and lapidary videos on. It's hands down my favorite platform. So thank you all so much for all of your support these last four years, all the amazing things that you've done on your end to help support our channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking and sharing. I appreciate everything that you've done on your end. And even on the other side of the spectrum, all the people that dislike our videos, leave nasty comments, all that negative stuff. Thank you for everything that you've done because all the good and the bad comes together to create the equation that has got us to right here. And as of this moment, our YouTube channel has 84,200 plus subscribers. That's a lot of people. <laughs> That's a ton of people. I, I never expected our little rock hounding and lapidary channel to get to where it's at. A uh, little fun fact, when I started this whole thing, I made a goal that hopefully we can make it to three years. And in three years, we would maybe have 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So being at four years with 84,000 plus, it's a huge blessing. And thank you all so much for everything. So I'm going to get ready to answer all your questions. But before I do, I got to get my little snack. Got a bee stick here. And I want to say cheers. Cheers to all of you. Oh yeah, that is good. Anyways, um, while I'm getting this ready, I gotta get my phone with all the questions. Um, got a bunch of questions. I think there's over 20 of them, so should be a fun time. Thank you for hanging out with me for this anniversary video. It's always fun doing these Q and A's. Um, just a little announcement. Um, for the time being, I've decided to stop posting shorts to our main YouTube channel. Um, we are, oh golly, there's a man down here. Smelt my beef stick. Get away. Anyways, um, I've, I've decided to stop posting shorts to our main YouTube channel. We're kind of in that last home stretch to 100,000 subscribers, which it seems like we're close, but we are like 15,000 plus away from that. That's a ton of people, so it still could not happen. So um, I've kind of decided to not post shorts to the main channel because I don't want it to surpass 100,000 if it ever does because of a short. I want to get it there with long form content. Long form is king. Long form is my favorite content to put together. It is the best. It's so fun. And I don't know. So for the time being, I'll be posting all of my shorts to our Agate Dad Shorts channel. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. I just, I post shorts and short form content like shortened versions of older videos so um yeah that's that's about it so i'm gonna get going on some questions here like i said got a bunch of questions thank you all for asking those questions i'm not answering them in any specific order just uh there there's questions and they're gonna be answered so i probably should have picked an easier snack than a beef stick <laughs> to talk and eat uh, this is from Donna Lance. Donna, you're a member of our channel. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you for being a frequent commenter. I appreciate you very much. She asked, Have you ever, or would you ever, take anyone along with you besides your family on a rock hunt? And yes, I would love to go rock hunting with more people. As much fun as Scoopy is, he's not much of a talker. But I do love going out with people. I recently went out with Rodenberg Rocks, Brett, uh, he's a local uh, rock hound YouTuber. He's on YouTube and Facebook, so go check him out. Um, yeah, it's really fun getting out there with other people and sharing the joy with everybody. And um, the, the only thing that's hard is just timing, right? Timing to get out rock hounding. And I've always told people, like, hey, if you're up on the North Shore or the South Shore and I'm out there at the same time and it just lines up perfectly, I'd love to meet up and go out rock hounding. So I'm always open to that. But uh, I'm not going to be doing like, I've said some people suggest doing guided hunts, paid hunts, like take us out, we'll pay you to take you out. And I'm just, I'm not really, I'm not really into that idea. So that's not something I'm going to be doing. I don't, 
I really don't think I'm ever going to do that. Uh, it's kind of a respect for the land and respect for the locals. Not going to be bringing people out to spots on paid stuff, but happy to meet up if people are out. So, yeah. Thank you, Donna. Next up is a question from Jeff, and he goes by JNV Rock Hounding. He has a couple questions. First one is, what has been your all-time favorite moment since you started rock hounding and making YouTube videos? Beef stick. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd, I'd say my favorite moment so far, just from like rock hounding, um, I'd say when I found my favorite agate and somebody asked, what's my favorite find? So I'm going to show that in a little bit. But uh, when I found that agate, it's called, I nicknamed it Jaws. Um, it actually has two nicknames, Jaws and The Onion. Um, but when I found that one, it was earlier on in like my rock hounding and early on in like my, I would say... <laughs> sorry uh, early on in kind of like my infancy of agate hunting and kind of the weight of like I haven't felt like I found like a a find of a lifetime yet so when I found that agate um it's right here when I found this come on focus yo there when I found this um it was just such a treat I hadn't found anything that big and um it just, it was so special being able to find that. And it, it's still hands down four years into this, the best agate I've ever found. And it was just so fun finding it. It was so dirty, kind of peeking out on the side of a, you know, ex, you know eroded little patch of dirt. And I just popped it out. It was so fun. So uh, as far as agate finds, that was probably the, the best moment I've ever had so far. <laughs> um the other question you had here is name some of your biggest bucket list places to go or materials to collect and what are the chances you accomplish it so i know we're four years into this it sounds crazy but it truly i truly feel like we are just getting started with all this like there's so many things we haven't done so many things i want to do but it's just going to take time so um bucket list places i want to get to uh, I'd love to get down to Florida and go snorkeling for agatized coral. I'd like to get down there with Rick and Henry. Those guys are great. Derek, a bunch of great guys down there I'd love to go rock hunting with. Um, I think it'd be really, really fun to get out to Idaho to go agate hunting out there. Um, I got a buddy that I've been working with. Rick. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> it's on my bench of things to do, a collaboration with him. He goes by Marler Mining. You should go check him out. He finds some insane agates in Idaho. Is something I didn't know Idaho had was such beautiful agates. So I'd love to get out there someday. Uh, chances of accomplishing it, I think it's great. I think it's just going to take time because like right now I got young kids and the last thing I'm going to do is just hop on a plane and go bail out and do this when well, my family comes first. So I'm going to be here for my kids, you know, with their young age and everything like that. So, um, but I think it is something that is going to happen in the future. It's just going to take time. Like I said, we're just getting started. I have, uh, a lot of, a lot of big goals for all this. And one of them is longevity. So I'm hoping to do this for a very long time. All right. Next question is from trash slayer 76. Congratulations. Love your channel. Thank you so much. That was really nice. Do you know of any pay to pick locations in Northern Minnesota? I do. I've never been there. <laughs> I'd like to go there. I believe it's called Get Pickin' in Cloquet, Minnesota. I think they bring in gravel and you can dig through it and look for agates. That is the only pay-to-pick location that I know of in Minnesota. So go try it out. <laughs> Alrighty, we got a fun one here. It's from The Final Me. It's a clone, apparently. What's the coolest thing you have found that wasn't a rock while hunting? Um... I'd say non-rock uh, or fossil find would have to be this really, really old spoon. Uh, I did some research on it when I found it, and it was patented, can't say that word, uh, in like 1905. It's an Avon series spoon, silver plated, and I've never really found any like treasure like that. I know it's not pure silver, but... It was fun, and I just the th the reason why I think it's so fun is because somebody at the beach used this and dropped it and lost it. And how long was it before I came along and found it and Scoopy scooped it up? 
some little scoop on spoon action going on. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, non rock in the fossil realm, I have 122 pounds stromatolite that I found. I'm not going to pick that up. I'm not going to show you. It is only going to move one more time, and that's whenever, um, if I ever move from here. So uh, that thing is huge. It's really cool. So we got a question from Savannah Daniel, 2157. Her question is, uh, so she lives in Georgia, and she is wondering if I have any advice on where I should start looking and what types of beautiful rocks and stuff are here in Georgia. So I'm in the same boat as you in the realm of Georgia. I've never been there. I am not sure. I do think Georgia has some cool stuff. I actually just purchased some lace agate with some druzy on there from Georgia, which is going to be in an upcoming video where I work that and polish it or something. But so there's good stuff out there. I just don't know where. My best advice I can give you is hop on Google and type in Georgia Rocks and Minerals and get a list of what's there and start looking at what you want to find, what you think is pretty or cool or whatever, and find that. Write it down and then look up blank in Georgia, like agate in Georgia, where to find agate in Georgia, and just start down that rabbit hole. It's not going to be like a five-minute thing. It's going to spend hours on it. You'll find some good stuff, and uh, you can do it. That's basically what I did up here, and if I can do it, you can do it. So I believe in you, and good luck. Question here from Becky York, and uh, she... She left a comment saying that, you know, it was very nice. She loves watching our videos. And on the day she can't go hunting, she watches the videos and feels like she got out and found them with me. And I just want to say that's one of the reasons why I get so excited in my rock hunting videos, in my cutting videos. And I know my lapidary pol or my polishing videos are a little more chill. But the, the rock hunting and cutting videos, I get really, really excited in because... I've gotten so many comments like that where I, I don't know what you're going through or if you're not able to get out or whatever. So it just feels like such a big treat for me to be able to bring you all with. And even though it's not live, but like for, for me, I really feel like we're able to share in that together. And that's why I've gotten, I feel so comfortable talking like right now, I'm alone. There's nobody around. It's just me and a camera that's like a foot and a half from my face. <laughs> but I feel comfortable because we've built such an awesome community on our channel. So um, I just, yeah, I love it. I love this. I love all of you guys. And it's just so fun. So um, I love bringing you all with. It's It's been a huge blessing in my life these last four years. So thank you for that. But uh, her question was, what brand tumbler do you recommend and any tips for tumbling? I... I'm not very good at rock tumbling. I use a Tumble B rock tumbler, and I think that is a fantastic tumbler for beginners like me. Um, I do have an affiliate link with them and a discount code. I'll link it below in the description. But I don't, I, I really steer away from giving tips for rock tumbling, with the exception of I always say if you want to get better at rock tumbling, you need to watch Michigan Rocks. He's an expert with it. He's an actual expert. He gets perfect stuff. He takes the time that it needs to get to that perfect polish. He makes great videos on how to tumble and everything. So go check him out. Hmm. Question from Video Ontario. How often do I get poison ivy? I'm going to butcher this. Sumac? Oak or giant hogweed rash? While rock on a creek, rivers, lakes, etc.? Funny enough, I have never, ever, ever gotten any kind of rash or anything. Well, I get, there's one time I went out with Michigan Rocks and 99 Rock Hounding out in Brainerd, and I touched some weed and it like burned my finger for like five minutes. That was it. Um, but no, up here in the North Shore, I've never run into any um, poisonous plants that cause rashes or anything. I've gotten <laughs> eaten alive by mosquitoes and i've had a few wood ticks from like gravel roads and stuff and like checking out eroded dirt and ditches and everything but that's about it the next question is from david g 5341 have you thought about rock hounding in another country oh yes i think about that all the time i think about how fun that would be and how i need to make sure that with all of this 
I need to do everything I can to increase the longevity of my channel so that someday I can travel to other countries and go rock hunting, go finding agates in other countries. It'd be so fun. But like I mentioned before, I'm not going to be not going to be bailing out on um, the family to go find agates in different states or countries. So we'll be doing some local stuff here for a while, and that is all good because we have so much fun here. Alrighty, finding the hidden gems asked, have you ever been rock hounding in Canada? No, I have not. I've been to Canada when I was a young lad, family reunions <laughs> up north. Um, but no, it's been a while since I've been to Canada and I haven't rock hounded up there. Uh, next question. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I saw another one. It just made me laugh. Um, so... Kay in Maine, happy fourth anniversary. Have you ever cut your fingertips on the blade so belly it requires stitches? Oh, I get this question or comment or somebody telling me I'm going to cut my fingers off. I'm not even kidding you. Not just once a day, probably like five to 15, 20 times a day, uh, mainly on Facebook, but about the fingertips gonna cut my fingers off like somebody call osha or whatever <laughs> whatever the comments are about it and i have never ever cut my fingertips ever on the blades that i use i use continuous diamond blades thin centered thick centered i have a thin notched i haven't tried running my finger across it i'm gonna play around with that i haven't used that in years i'm gonna try it out and test it on some rocks here in a future video uh, I'll test my finger on it too, so maybe I'll cut it off then. <laughs> but no, I. Um, so the continuous diamond blades, it's a continuous, no teeth, like a wood saw blade. And uh, as long as you got water running, you can lightly touch your finger on it. And like, you got to be a psychopath to like put your finger on it and push down before it starts burning into your skin. Uh, if you don't have water on it you'll burn your skin i did that once it was the last time i'll do it <laughs> hopefully and um uh yeah no never never happen never will happen uh, i'll make a vow to you all right here right now if i ever and it'll be my thumbs because you push like this right so if it slips and we you know um if i ever cut a thumb off i will change my channel name to nubs lapidary I promise. And then <laughs> if it happens, uh, at least there'll be some sort of silver lining from cutting a thumb off. <laughs> All right. Next question. This is the one that kind of made me laugh. Um, Diana Peterson asked, why do you live in Minnesota? <laughs> Free will. I chose to live here. Um, so I grew up in Minnesota lifelong resident to Minnesota. Thank you, mom and dad, for that blessing. And um, uh, my wife was a North Dakota resident her whole life, and then we got married. We actually moved to a little small farm town uh, uh, in North Dakota, and that was so boring. <laughs> so boring. There's nothing to do. So we moved up to the North Shore area up here, and it's been a blast ever since. I've literally have not been bored one time and um you know, it's funny you get some people that say like i'll never move to minnesota because of the politics or the policies it's like who cares you know there's whatever you know so i just i live here because it's beautiful i live here love or yeah <laughs> well i live here because it makes my heart happy that's where i'm supposed to be so yo woody Hedinger asks when you're cutting a rock that has an agate channel do you cut along across or through the channel <sighs> so that's kind of it's kind of a tricky question because there's so many different ways and so many different answers to that question um for example give me a second i'm letting you guys in on a secret oh sneak peek oh, sneak peek to a future video that i'm excited about I bought uh, this. This is a giant Brazilian agate. I feel like Wilson on Home Improvement. Neighbor. Um, so here's the big agate. And right here, 
see if I can get it to go. Right here, there's a bunch of bands, right? They're water level bands, they're running like this. Now, to your question, like you see the channel, you see the window with all the bands. My thought process is cut like this. And then you open it up with a cut like this and you have those water level bands that run through like that. Or you cut it like this into it this way. And <laughs> sorry, the camera work is phenomenal. Um, and then you cut it through this way and you know those bands are running like this and you still get water level bands. Which way do you do it? Option one or option two like this. Let me know what you think in the comments because this one is keeping me up at night. <laughs> I don't know which way to cut it. Um, we'll figure it out, I guess. But anyways, there's many, many, many different ways to go about cutting, cutting an agate or whatever your mineral is. Um, the more you do it, the more you learn kind of the tricks to it. There's kind of a trick with nodules that I've learned where you get like a full pattern, but it depends on how the nodule looks. Sometimes you get a nodule and you're like, I have no idea how to cut this thing. You just got to make a good judgment call and accept the results, I guess. <laughs> um, Chrissy Junt9867. You always make great videos. Thank you. Thank you. I try really hard. Um, my One of my number one goals with all of my videos is to create an enjoyable experience for you. Uh, with the footage I get, just trying trying to make it fun, trying to make it enjoyable. And um, I know, I don't know, sometimes it feels like it goes well. Sometimes I feel like, man, I could have got extra shots, extra B-roll, this or that, and could have done better. And But that's just the process, and that's it, why... So I don't think I'm ever going to get bored with this because there's so many different things that I can do and do better and continue to get better at with all of it. So um, I'm going to keep trying to get better at it for all of you. It's it's a lot of fun and it's worth it. You're worth it. So your question is, uh, what is your favorite find and how long have you been rock hunting or as some put a rockaholic? Um, I'd say I've been a rockaholic for four plus years <laughs> since I found my first egg and it's this little guy is sitting up here. It's this little pee of a thing. But my favorite find is Jaws. This guy right here. Um, it's not going to focus very well. So this is Jaws. Um, it's my favorite egg. And I'll just I'll take another video and put it up while I'm talking. But this is my favorite find. My favorite Lake Superior egg I've ever found. Um, it's got so many bands. It's I call it Jaws because it has this like little fin area. The back side of it is kind of orangish red you know like a shark jaws blood and then it's got this little oniony patch on it it's just the thing is packed the bands don't stop and um yeah it's just it's my favorite find i don't think i'll ever find one that will make me happier than when i look at this and this just has so much sentimental value as well because like i mentioned earlier it came to me at a time when i um kind of felt like I could use like a find of a lifetime. Like I've been putting in so much work and I didn't find anything really spectacular. And then I found this and I was like, this is so spectacular. This is amazing. So that is, that's why that one's my favorite find. Oh, um, and you asked how long have I been rock hunting? So, uh, I have been agate hunting for over four years. Um, but I grew up in an area where it wasn't rich in good minerals like Lake Superior agates, porphyry, jasper, all the stuff that we can find up here. But I would go out on walks with my mom on gravel roads and we just pick up pretty rocks. And um, those were some really fond memories doing that out at the lake. And um, so, yeah, thank you, mom. <laughs> so, but doing that since I was a little boy and even I remember going to the lake, uh, in college and just kind of being like bored or whatever but digging around in the rocks on the beach and just like finding fossil imprints on rocks was fun and um so i've always been interested in it but the passion didn't really set until we moved up here all right question from s j olson 3243 what's the best resource for identifying a mystery rock so i i've heard of people using like rock identifier app i've never used it 
Um, it seems kind of vague, but it could get you in the right direction, I guess. I've never done it. Um, you guys put comments if you've ever used one of those identifier apps. I'd say best resource. For me here in Minnesota, I have a couple Minnesota Rocks and Minerals, Lake Superior Rocks and Minerals books. And I've, you know, I just look through those and it's like, oh, that looks like that, or that's this, that, or the other thing. Or um, like, for example, with, I found that stromatolite. I wasn't sure it was a stromatolite. I knew it was a fossil when I found it. And I just used the internet. That sounds kind of like, whoa, that's a, that's a kind of vague as well, right? But you just try looking up keywords for what you're finding, like red rock, red mineral, red Minnesota mineral. And you like just look up lists and just it's a, again a rabbit hole of information trying to find it and it can be really fun because you can put in a lot of work and then finally find it and you're like yes I found it that's actually how I identified Ulytic Ironstone Jasper I just searched and searched and searched and I finally found something that looked identical to it and it was labeled as Minnesota Ulytic Ironstone Jasper I'm like somebody figured it out before me and I found it online so it's just kind of like a, a wild goose chase. <laughs> Alrighty, question from J. Jaslang9469. Have you taken your channel full time or do you still have a 9 to 5? If not, what else do you do? Um, have I quit my job for this? No. <laughs> no, I have not. Um, I used to have grand dreams of doing this full time, but. Uh, social media uh, along the way has taught me how unreliable it is and how risky it is. So uh, with having young children, it is not something I'm going to risk is finances, I guess. Um, I have a really good job. It's stable. I enjoy it very much. I have great coworkers, great manager, managers, a really good team of people. And um it's 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 my career. I hope to be in it for the long haul with that too until I do retire. Hopefully, maybe I can retire early in my 40s or 50s or something. But um, yeah, I don't think that's something that's going to happen for me, uh, quitting my, my, my day job <laughs> for any of this. Uh, but uh, what I do for my day job is I'm a, I, I'm a biomedical technician that works on the road. So I travel around northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and I go to different hospitals, clinics, and other places like that. And I inspect and repair a very wide variety of medical equipment. So my days are never the same, and it's really fun. I get to learn a lot, always something new to work on, and you know, just random repairs. It's, uh, it's really fun. It's a really good job. I'm very, very thankful to have that as my career. Jessica Anderson asked a similar question um, out of the hundreds or thousands of agency found. I don't, well, maybe a thousand, a thousand little ones, right? <laughs> um, thousands of agency found, which is your favorite? Jaws, the one I showed, uh, Banded Beauty. Um, yeah, so that is hands down my favorite one. Uh, Lisa Wilcox asks, where do you sell the stones you don't keep? A lot of the things you have done are magnificent. Thank you. Um, so I recently, and that is back. Uh, it's off. Good luck. Uh, I started an Etsy store. A Let's see. I think it was about two months ago. So it's etsy.com slash shop slash agadad. That's where I put all of my kind of the random rough stuff that I'm going to be selling. Uh, I've put a couple slabs up on there, some polished stuff, some cut and unpolished stuff, just a whole bunch of random stuff. So uh, if you want to check that out, um, I'll link that below as well. And just FYI, if you are a channel member of our YouTube channel, or no, excuse me. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, if you're a member of our YouTube channel, uh, every month I post a 10% discount for channel members to our Etsy store. And um, I put the channel membership on YouTube to the lowest possible. It's a buck a month. Uh, no pressure. But if you want a discount to our store, um, hop on our channel membership for a month. <laughs> and then 
get off. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Dana T H Haha 6170 asks, will you look at my rock? No one knows what it is. So I can't really answer that one. And I did, I did reply to you saying I can't really answer that one via here because I don't know what your rock looks like. But I, it's kind of a similar answer. You know, if you have a question on what you have, you got to look up what your rocks and minerals list is for your state or if you're from a different country, whatever that's called. Um, and just dive down the rabbit hole. You can figure out what it is. I, I believe anybody can figure it out. Look up books for your state. Um, when I started, uh, I went to the library and looked up rocks and minerals books for Minnesota, for the North Shore, for Lake Superior. Just There's a lot of different resources for you to find that information. So, yeah. Um, next question is from Shannon Michael W. Congrats on four years. If you could make a special two-part collaboration video, who would you choose to rock hunt with? Two-parter, huh? That's a tough one, because there's so many awesome rock hunting channels out there. Um, I wanted to get out with Michigan Rocks this year when he came out, but with us having a baby and everything, it just didn't didn't play out. But um, So I, I'd always be down to go rock hunting with him again. Um um, I think top of the list would be kind of the answers I gave earlier and get down south to Florida with Rick, who's dig, dive, discover Henry, uh, I think is science saddler and Derek. And, you know, there's a bunch of people down south that find some really awesome stuff, but get down there, get up to Idaho with Marler mining, uh, get out to, I believe it's Oregon with uh, guy goes by Haba Ridge Jasper. There's there's so many people I'd love to get out and go rock hunting with Louisiana with Gravel Bar Hopper, out in Montana with Katie Did, Theo Kelson, Travis, 406 Findings. You know, just the list is the list is honestly endless. There's so many people it'd be fun to get out with. And again, longevity I think we'll be able to make a lot of that stuff happen down the road. So that will be fun. <laughs> We have a killer question here from Lisa Mills. Other than agates, what is your favorite rock? <sighs> My favorite non-agate find. I love Ulytic Ironstone Jasper, but it's so, so hard to find. I've only found two pieces of it. Um, but I would have to say my second thing to find, the second most favorite thing to find, Porphyry hands down porphyry porphyry is like agates no two pieces of porphyry are the same you get an agate another agate they're not the same you get two pieces of oolitic jasper they're just different shapes it's the same thing you get pieces of porphyry they're all different and i have seen some magnificent porphyry and what the heck a uh, lot of a lot of really great details in there. Those feldspar crystals. It's just, <laughs> there's this one hair just floating. I caught it. What in the world are you doing? Um, but yeah, porphyry is awesome. Love porphyry. More love for porphyry. <laughs> All right, Jennifer asked, I'd like to know how you learned to cut and polish gemstones. Did you complete a study course or teach yourself? Uh, for cutting rocks, I... I guess got a saw and put water in it and kind of figured it out. Cutting rocks is pretty simple. Uh, there are some little tricks to the trade and I'm still learning with that too. I'm still trying to figure out how to cut rocks perfectly <laughs> and it'll come in time. And uh, as far as polishing, uh, same thing. I looked up YouTube videos like how to polish a rock, how to do a rounded face polish and how to make a cabochon, all that. Watch YouTube videos. But the biggest way to learn is by doing. Like, I'm a big, like, hands-on learner. I learn by doing. Um, yeah, I will say I would love to shadow a lapidary expert and just pick their brain on stuff, have them watch me and my techniques and critique it. And because I'd like to get better at it and everything. I'd love to get better at everything that I do. And that's, again, why I don't think I'll ever get bored with any of this is you can be perfect at polishing an agate, but then you hop into a different mineral and it's a new ball game. <laughs> so it's, 
it's just so much fun. It, you're, I don't know. I don't think I'll ever be able to consider myself an expert because the realm of doing this with so many different minerals is so vast that it's impossible to do that. So, um, but yeah, uh, I just learned by doing, I guess, long answer. <laughs> and we're on our last question, folks. From World of Rockhounds, Kyle, go subscribe to his channel if you haven't. Um, congrats on the four years. Thanks, bud. Any plans on polishing Fire Obsidian? So I believe you sent me some. <laughs> and I have it in my slab box. And yes, it is in the plans. Uh, That's just one of those hard things where it's like, what to polish next what's next what's next and you know what i should do is just pull it out after i'm done here and put it on my in one of my cab king bins and just so i know like get to it <laughs> let's polish it up and make a fun maybe a couple cabochons out of it so hopefully soon my man hopefully soon <laughs> well folks that is our four year anniversary q a um, I had a lot of fun answering all your questions. Thank you all so much for asking them. Thank you all for watching. If you've made it to this point in the video, I don't know how long this is going to be. So probably longer than normal. So thank you for sticking it out and making it to the end. Again, everybody who has done anything in any way, shape, or form to support our channel over these last four years. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And... Um, I just I hope the best for all of you and I hope that we can all have a ton of fun in the future I look forward to everything that we do. I feel So happy that four years into this I am still passionate about everything that I do with all of this And that's another one of my little rules with all of this is that I have to love it And if I don't love it, I'm gonna quit which there's a lot of different things that I have to love to do all this so um yeah, so as long as I love it, I'm going to keep doing it. And I can't wait to bring you all with on all of our rock hunting and lapidary adventures. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.